Welcome to Santa Barbara County, a once sleepy wine region turned top travel destination by the film Sideways, where Miles, played by Paul Giamatti, famously declared his detest for Merlot, but more importantly, his love for Pinot Noir. And that's why we're here. Get ready to watch, learn, and drink. Welcome to Via's Ravino. I'm here in downtown Santa Barbara, which is about an hour and a half north of Los Angeles. It's a perfect getaway for us Los Angelinos trying to get out of the city and do a little hotels, restaurants, you name it. Santa Barbara has anything for as long as you need to recharge. So while Santa Barbara the city has that warm SoCal weather that we love, Santa Barbara the wine growing region is actually fairly cool. It's about 45 minutes north of here. It's cool because the Santa Ynez Mountains on either side act as a funnel to funnel the cool ocean air right through the vineyards. And if you couple that with the fact that because of low average rainfall, the winemakers don't have to harvest before the fall rains come in, you're left with a nice, long, cool growing season, which is perfect for Burgundian style grapes like Chardonnay and more importantly, Pinot Noir. So how did winemaking get started in Santa Barbara? Well, a lot the same way that it got started in most of California. Church. Let me explain. See, back in the day, like late 1700s, the Spanish occupied California, and they wanted to impose Christianity onto the Native Americans who were living in California at the time. So what did they do? Well, they established 21 religious outposts, or missions, all the way from San Diego up the coast to Sonoma. And if you've ever driven up the 101 freeway in California and seen the bells marked El Camino Real, meant the King's Road. Those are symbolic markers of the journey between each of the missions. At these missions, they grew livestock and crops, and most importantly, religious ceremonial wine, and then eventually just wine. Despite all that, Santa Barbara winemaking as we know it is actually fairly young. It started really in the 1960s, but didn't take off until the 1990s. There's over 100 wineries in Santa Barbara County now. It's one of the youngest and most exciting areas in California, and we're gonna go to one of the wineries right now. Get the wine, full episodes, and more at viasforvino.com.